We created our very own DIY animatronic dinosaur, and this series of videos tells you exactly how we did it. With all the ups, I love it when a plan comes together, and downs, everything else today has been a nightmare of any maker trying to create something new for the first time. Making this up as I go along. In part one, we covered the design and armature of the Raptor. In this, the second video, we'll focus on the eyes and animatronics. Having made space for the eyes, I've now finished my 3D printing. two holders here, the eyelids, the eyeballs, and the stalk for the eye, the stalk for the side is already, already in there. And then I've got a few screws and an example uh, servo. I did some measuring of the distance between these two eyebrows, I'm calling them, um, and discovered that these two here will fit back to back here and here in the diameter or the width of those eyes. So I've got to tap these holes, put the screws in, get this set up. So you'll notice that I have now put the eyelids on. It's like a mouth at the moment with no eyeball. But I just wanted to check um, just the movement quality really. Or what I might do is I might just sand this, this joint to, uh, to make it a little bit smoother. See how that's swinging better? That's what we want. What I've got to do now is I've got to design on the screen a plate for these two bits here. So they can sit back to back uh, and be joined together. That was easy. I've created a template. Now I need to find my glasses. I've got them. Oh, it says poking his eyes out. Looking good. Is the bits gonna pop out? They are! Look at that! Happy with that. We want to make sure we're clearing all of those all of those sections there, which we are. Yes! Yes, that works great. Look at that. All look good. Uh, it was exactly what I wanted. However, I realised that this might be a bit too small because of the way I want to mount this inside the head. My idea was to create a little notch here and here that this could lay in to remain in the right direction um, and secure. I'm gonna laser cut a new one with a slightly larger width. Then I'm gonna hollow this out to have it sit properly. So this is the new one. That's the old one. It's together and I've just put the first servo in, made a bit of space for it. It's all joined together beautifully. It's looking good. And um, that is going to just insert into those eye sockets. I have been poring over this for a while. My controller will only do six servos. So I'm going to try and get these servos to do double duty. So this one here uh, will turn both eyes like this. That's the idea. Although that just skipped its track when I did it. <laughs> going to have to secure those better, but you get the point. And then here for blinking, that will pull in this direction. And then when that is pulling in that direction, so pulling towards this side, it will pull in the opposite direction at the same time and hopefully open the other eyelid, which I will put there. That's the plan. And the frustrating thing is I know I'm gonna to have to take this all apart again in a second, because uh, I haven't even done the eyeballs properly. I need to paint and create those you can see behind me some research that I've been doing and I discovered a really interesting thing. So this is uh, the eyeball and iris for the original raptors from Jurassic Park. And then this is the photo from Universal Studios. And as you can see, there's a difference in color. I am going to go with the more orange eye because I'm trying to replicate the Universal Studios vibe. Um, and also just because I think it pops more. I actually have an original eye that I've discovered here that somebody um, has photographed. And I'm gonna take that, put it into Photoshop, and then I need to size it correctly so I can print it exactly the right size. You'll notice that I've set up these guides here to create a 40 by 40 box because the lenses that I have purchased that will fit on my 3D print are that size. Then I'm gonna 
fill out that space with the eyeball and then I'm going to do some colour correction work on it. And then I'm going to stick a print out of this underneath this piece of glass to the 3D print. So uh, I've got my glass and as you can see that is perfectly sized for this test print of these eyes that I've been doing. I have bought some glue like this clear grip That, that is, I think, a good result. Focus, maybe it can't focus that close. That looks pretty good to me, yeah? Okay, I have to say, that is very satisfying to see those two with eyes on them and to see them like that. Look at that. Ah, now I just remembered something. Yeah, I have to be sure that I put, I mount the eye in the right configuration. Otherwise, when I come to put the animatronic together, I don't want a Velociraptor with a with a slant, slanted eye iris, a slanted pupil. The pupil should be vertical like that. And we don't want it to be like that. Otherwise that will not look correct. It'll look maybe like he's a bit dazed or maybe even a little bit drunk, <laughs> which is not, not the look we're going for. I mean, maybe he was tranquilized to put him in the cage. I think those little marks are gonna help me, but I've gotta be really careful that I mount these right. Mm. That was much harder than it needed to be, <laughs> I think. That glue, it works great. It does exactly what it needs to do but uh, just the whole process of pushing it down on a flat surface and leaving a, th a thin layer and then trying to clean around the edge. Every time you try and clean around the edge, it moved the glass off the center. And so, yeah, created a bit of an issue. The only other thing that is concerning me a little bit, you look in that picture, look, it's, it's all the same color all the way around. What I need to do is get some paints and paint this to kind of match. not a bad, bad color match and when I put a little bit of black in there and carry it around I think that I think that's gonna work I'm just gonna go for it <laughs> just gonna do it let's do it I am pretty pleased with that I wasn't sure when I started but those paints matched perfectly I'm gonna need to put a clear coat on it so that it looks shiny like the rest of the eye. But gosh, I'm happy with that. That's gonna make a huge difference when the eyes turn left and right. I've given them three coats. Ooh, look at that. That is now shiny all over. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna cut my register for my animatronic so it will fit in. I think we have an issue. I think I did my measuring on one side of the dinosaur eye only. That piece is sticking out too far. It needs to be in line with that and same here so here's what i'm thinking either create a new 3d print or carefully cut quite a lot off definitely a back to the drawing board moment right now frustrating in the next video i'll walk you through how i solved a mass of issues to get to a working programmable set of animatronic dinosaur eyes click on the video link below to watch now. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button below and hit the notify bell. It helps me make more of these videos and means you get notified when we share our next exciting adventure.